Hey everybody, welcome to the Half-Ass Garage. This is kind of my playground where I goof off and work on stuff. This is the intro to the channel and this is our current project. A 1984 Dodge D150 pickup. We're building a nice stout 360 for it and eventually putting a A833 four speed in it. So that's the project that we've got going on right now. And then there are some other ones kind of in the pipe. So take you along for that ride, but I just wanted to give you a little bit of a background on the channel um, so you kind of had a little bit of a history on it. So I, I kind of mess around with a bunch of different stuff, you know, bikes and quads and, you know, you name it, cars and stuff, whatever. And I uh, thought it would be cool to, you know, just document it and whatever. Some of my friends asked me to, to make a channel so they can watch because I got friends from all over the world. So here we are. Now, I've kind of had this in the works for a couple of years now so I filmed different things at different times and you know life just didn't didn't allow me to at that time you know to, to make a solid go of it uh, but I did have some videos filmed I did make some intros but those cars and projects are all gone now so I it's not really pertinent to this time frame like what's happening right now so it it didn't feel right to include that so I'm just recording a new one uh, right after this gets uploaded, um, I think I'm going to upload the two first episodes of what we're doing with this truck, which involves basically pulling the drivetrain out of the donor vehicle, which is a big old van, to get this 360 for us. So that's kind of where we're at right now. I'll take you for a little tour around my horse barn garage, which uh, it's, that's what it is. It's a converted horse barn that I kind of hang out out here and screw around in. Uh, I do all kinds of different stuff, whether it's cars, like I said, cars, bikes, electronics, you name it, anything that comes along, I try to mess around with it and have some fun learning some welding or whatever. I'm not going to say I'm great at any of this stuff, and I do make some mistakes because this is just a hobby for me, but you can come along and, and you know, maybe I'll learn something from you, maybe you'll learn something from me. Hopefully everybody has fun along the way because that's really what's most important. And uh, really, I mean, that's about it. So I'll take you around and show you some of the junk I got around here. And, uh, you know, maybe you'll uh, kind of see what it's all about. All right. So here's Rusty Ram. Uh, this had an engine fire on the top end that I rebuilt. Um, just put all the new stuff on the engine. Uh, kind of waiting on a title right now. So weird story behind this truck and how I got it. But uh, it's Rusty Ram. And that is the deal you can see where the engine fire was she runs good now four-wheel drive works everything is good so we might end up doing some stuff on this truck i don't know it depends on the status of that title i have new doors for it in front of that tractor um fenders you know this has got the second gen disease all over it you know just constant non-stop rust there are rocker panels and cab ex or cab corners in there brand new ones i don't know if i'm gonna deal with that or just use it as a winter truck we're in michigan so uh you don't you don't get a lot of nice weather out here you get a a couple of months of weather like this and the rest is crap the rest here um this is part of the 84 d150 that you're gonna you know you saw in there this was the donor all of those videos are coming up directly after this this intro video so all of the stuff with the van and that d150 you're going to see right after this so there should be two videos uploaded right after this and then there's about six or eight more of them that i've got right now that are going to be scheduled to be uploaded and then you'll see what's going on with that so uh you know stay tuned for cool van stuff now this is a 96 i think cherokee and uh, I got this kind of at the same time as I got that red truck. And it was supposed to not have a 4 liter in it, um, but it actually does. So, But the oil pan is off and it's kind of shot. So I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, anyway, there's a whole bunch of parts inside of it. It's rust free from Florida. You can see that it's just filled with filled with parts so now the deal is that this is a two-wheel drive truck but with the truck I got all of the four-wheel drive axles transfer case everything and a new 
you know, used four liter for it. So I have another engine that's supposed to run, plus all of the drivetrain stuff to convert it to four wheel drive. And that was what I was planning to possibly do with it. There's the only rust on the truck. Right there is that hole. Other than that, she's clean underneath. Everything is good. Those are well, pretty hard to find these days in this condition. So I'm not sure what to exactly do with this truck because I didn't notice at the time, but it's got some pillar damage. I didn't even realize this until I got the truck home. And when I was digging through all the junk in it, I found a new pillar. So someone had cut the pillar here and out underneath there. And there was just this pillar sitting in the truck. I was like, why would you have a pillar? And then I looked at it, I was like, oh man. So apparently the, um, the original plan from the previous owner was to make that into a trail truck. So now I kind of see why it's got that pillar damage. But we might end up doing something with this. I don't know yet. It's one of those kind of um, projects like a bunch of the other projects before that you know I originally started making videos for this channel about two years ago and uh, a lot of the a lot of the projects came and went so the intros that I made were kind of useless because those those projects weren't around anymore so so this is kind of one of those projects that might go but we might end up doing something with it, it really just depends on how well it's received on the channel and if people actually want to see me do something with it or not. I don't want to dump a ton of money into it. Uh, although those seats are in it, those aren't the correct seats for it. It uh, it has the kind of, I don't know, I think they're Wrangler style. It had like a bar across the bottom there where these seats would bolt in from the front and then the uh, this Cherokee had the power seat so it would sit flat. So these even though it does have interior sort of with it, um, they don't fit. So I don't know, I don't know yet what to do about that. It was kind of like a, one of the things that really put a damper on the whole project is the fact that the interior won't fit in it. I can cobble something together, which we might do and mess around with it, but we'll just have to wait and see. So that's kind of what I have right now. Um, other than maybe that, car hauler getting some frame rail work done on it so one of the projects that will never go away is this 72 ct70 so i've had this since i was one year old my dad bought it for me and uh i started the project but it's always been on the back burner i've got this uh this kind of 110 chinese clone engine that my buddy gave me for free electric start and all that but what's kind of neat about that is or weird is it has reverse so I know it's, it's like a mini bike or a, I'm not a go-kart engine. So there's the original engine for it. So I don't know what we're going to necessarily do with this or with that other engine, whatever, but that'll be a project that never leaves. So, and then the truck won't leave either. So those are the two, the two projects I absolutely know won't get sold like all the other ones. As far as machining stuff, sorry that the place is such a mess. But, you know, my old Rockwell bandsaw, you know, it does a decent job. Here's my old uh, Atlas 10 inch lathe, which is piled full of stuff because I'm kind of in the middle of trying to clean and separate out crap and get rid of stuff and burn things and whatnot. So that needs to be cleaned, but that's my lathe. Uh, old drill press, uh, motorcycle lift. Here's some of my other projects. All right, well, not so much projects, but uh, just stuff I can work on. This is a really nice uh, 1984 CX 500, twisted twin, liquid cool, Honda. Everything's great on that bike, but the carburetors um, kind of croaked on it. I've only had this bike for about a year, but uh, it's all original and the uh, carburetor, all the diaphragms or seals or whatever on it just ended up, I don't know. It sat for a long time when I got it, it ran great, but just the use from through the carb, all the diaphragms or seals or whatever just gave up the ghost. So carb rebuild on that. There's my old FZ6 that's seen better days. That there's nearly nothing wrong with it other than it's just beat up. But um, yeah, so there's there's the, kind of that stuff. Um, 318. 
kind of thought it might be fun to turbo that. I don't know, down the road, we'll see if we get that far. AHP Alpha Tig. So, I'm one of my welders, um, old Clark MIG welder, just random junk, um, and uh, sandblasting cabinet. So, yeah, you know, a bunch of tools and stuff. Really, that's about it. That's about what there is in the half-assed garage here. So, um, that's kind of what we got going down. Hopefully, this intro will uh, kind of show you guys a little bit what to expect and. Uh, you can watch the videos on this van right now if you're interested. So until then, um, thanks a lot for coming to watch. And I hope that you didn't hate this intro, but I wanted to give a little bit of a backstory as to what this thing was and, uh, you know, all that. So welcome to the Half-Ass Garage. Mm -hmm.